Hey, how's it going? It's Mr. Bill here, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on parallel compression. So, um, a lot of people have been questioning me about parallel compression since I did the Skrillex tutorials. Um, a lot of people have been saying they're more in uh, interested to know more about it. So, I'm going to do a little bit of that for you right now. So, I already kind of covered this a little bit in, in another tutorial, which was called How to Subtractively Add More Frequencies to Your Mix, where I created a send and then put an EQ on that channel and then sent... Um, signal to that channel to kind of add more high frequencies in but with parallel compression it's more of a mix based trick so here I've just got a little loop and I'm just going to do it with this um, this single loop that I have here at the moment so the loop sounds like this so it's just a simple little loop and uh, to begin I'm going to create a, a return track so I'll just right click and go insert return track or on Mac I can press some um, command option T and then with this return track I'm just going to put an EQ on that channel and the first uh, type of parallel compression I'm going to use is called New York compression so what I'm going to do is create a notch filter I'm going to cut everything out from the center of the sound just leaving the low and the high frequencies and then I'm going to um, put a compression setting on that's just going to absolutely smash that sound um, smash them frequencies with compression so I'll just have an extremely high um, ratio something like 12 to 1 um, an extremely fast look ahead and I'll put the model on FF1 which is feed forward 1 which sounds a little more aggressive according to the manual and I'll have um, the release really high so it's not um, letting the sound recover very often and I'll make that a pre-fader send so it's sending before the faders and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the snare and the kicks I'm just going to slowly turn this send level up if we go out to the other view we can see the send level just here and I'll slowly turn that up and what you'll start to see is metering on this fader here and and that's pretty much what we want. We want to mix in um, this compressed low and high frequencies with the original frequencies and we only want to mix them in by about maybe 10 or 20 percent um, to kind of just fatten everything up a little bit and you got to be kind of careful not to use this overly too much because it can kind of drown your mix out and sound a little bit funny. Uh, when you first start using it it's kind of hard to not go a little bit overboard with it because it's, it's kind of a really cool trick. So, um, so yeah, I'll just start playing this and I'll, I'll slowly s start turning these up and, and you'll start to see it metering and you'll hear you'll hear everything get a little bit um get more low and high frequencies, which will make it sound kind of crunchier in the highs and, and fatter in the lows. So we'll just play that. So it's starting to get a little bit of clipping now, so at this point I would just grab all the channels and just turn them all down a couple of dB. And I would also turn the send channel, actually I'll leave the send, send channel where it is for the moment. So yeah, if we play that, have a listen. Uh, we'll turn the send channel off now. So that's it, this is it without um, New York compression. And this is it with New York compression. So it just sounds a little bit, um, <clears throat> a little bit fatter. And if we keep turning that up, you just start to get some really nice, heavy, compressed low end in there. So if we just solo that return channel and listen to it, we're just mixing this back in with the um, with the other signal. It's a little bit too heavy. It's starting to clip a lot. But we can put a limiter after that, or just back the compression up a little bit. probably be happy with that much compression actually and then bring these levels down a bit. So this is it without now. And with it. So you can you can hear that it just adds a lot to the um, to the mix it just starts to sound nice and big and you can add this like just start turning up send uh, levels on on all your channels and you'll see some nice results so I'll just name that channel there um, New York compression 
And then the second one I'm going to do is create another return track, but this time um, the EQ is just going to be all the low frequencies and nothing else. So I'm just going to create all low frequencies, maybe everything around under 150 hertz, and then I'm going to compress that as well. So um, again, I'll have a really fast attack, um, a relatively quick release, I guess, a little uh, bit, maybe four to one ratio, meaning that we have to put four decibels into this compressor to get one decibel out of it. Um, put the model to FF1 and we'll just play with the threshold a bit once we start adding signal to it. So I'll just start turning these up, see um, until there's enough low end in there. I'm on headphones, so I'll, I'll probably add too much low end, but um, you'll get the idea anyway. So now all we've got now is this bass happening. I'll make that pre-fader as well. So we can hear there's just all this bass under it now. So if we turn both of these channels off now. So you can hear it adds a lot to the mix and it kind of um it kind of changes the mix completely. So we'll call this um sub compression. And then I'll create another channel, and this is for the high frequencies. So I'll just cut off the highs, everything except the highs, and put a compressor on there. Again, just similar settings to before. And then I'm just going to send my kick there to get the extra snap out of the bottom end of the kick. I'll make that post again. And just that, um, I'll just listen to the kick. You can hear that air and really like sizzly sound coming out of the kick. I won't add that much, I'll just add a little bit. You can probably add it to the snare as well. So it makes the snare really snappy if we take that away. And then add it. It just sounds really cracky. So I'll call this high compression. And then you can do whatever you want really. Like if you want more mids in your mix, you could you could create a an EQ that just has mids, like so. Or you could create really interesting shapes like if if you just want like, you know, a couple of little spikes to come out of your mix. Um, we can try that and see what that sounds like <clears throat> and you can just kind of put any EQ shape before the compressor and that's Essentially creating your own multiband compressor, but I like to do it this way just because it's a little bit more control I think and you can add as many compressors as you like So we'll see what this sounds like if I just start adding stuff to that it Starts to sound really nasal as stuff usually does when you add mids. So that's the, the basic ones New York compression sub compression and high compression and if we have a listen to those now and we turn those off. Back on. Now I'm starting to get clipping, so what I'll do at this point is um just turn everything down a couple of dB, so turn them down three dB and then grab the whole mix and turn that down. By 3 dB as well, and then we'll end up with this, so I shouldn't be clipping. So it just sounds like there's a lot missing now after you add all that compression. Um, again, I probably added way too much because I'm listening in headphones, but um, that's the basic idea of it. Once you start to use it more and more, you, you kind of get a bit more of a feel for how much of it you can add and still have a comfortable amount of headroom. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that tutorial and hopefully this helps you fatten up your mixes a bit. And um, yeah, so thanks thanks again. Go and visit mrbillstunes.com and go and get some free stuff. Cheers.